2015, shortly after the president said that some Mexican immigrants were rapists and criminals, you said that that language was racist and hateful. Do you still believe that today? Well, I'm, I'm actually glad you asked that because for about the first four weeks of the election, um, I was watching CNN and I was naively believing some of the headlines that I saw on CNN. And headlines, that's fine. I, I just want to know if you also personally I'm still believe not, that. I'm actually not going to read the headlines. So I very quickly took, came around and supported the president. In fact, CNN hired me. Um, I was on many eight on one panels where I proudly supported this president, who I believe is one of the best presidents, if not the best president this country will ever have. But I, I would encourage the individual who did that analysis of my past, um, rather than focusing on me, he really should be focused on some of the very guests CNN chose to have on their network. He should be focused on, I mean, my over here, Jim's, Jim Clapper, who said, you know, 10 days before he privately told investigators there was no evidence of collusion, that Watergate pales in comparison to the Russia probe. I'd encourage them to look at Samantha Powers, who's privately saying, I'm not in possession of any evidence of collusion. Ambassador Rice, I don't recall intelligence or evidence of any collusion. Former Attorney General Loretta Lynch, I do not recall that being briefed to me. And for three years, two years, probably more than that, CNN ran with the collusion narrative. And if the American people are watching right now, they're probably very confused as to some of the quotes I read, because those individuals were saying much different things publicly than they were saying privately. And I'm very grateful that those transcripts were released yesterday. And perhaps the K file should do an analysis of that. Yes, Emily? Are you walking back those comments today at all? Or I do you support, stand by those comments I that you made? I support this president. There is no questioning that. I'm so honored to work for him. And Ebony, next question. Thank you. Hey, everybody. Drone Tech here. I just wanted to quickly point out a few interesting things that I noticed about this exchange. For one, they're all suddenly wearing masks. It might have something to do with Trump calling them out for not wearing masks while they lecture everyone else to do so. It's like Andrew Cuomo talking down to everyone about not wearing masks while he sits there with his panel of people not wearing masks. But if you really want to say thank you, make their life easier by not getting sick and not making someone else sick. Act responsibly and intelligently for yourself, for your family, and for your community. Wear a mask. Wear a mask. OK, it's not the most attractive garment ever created. So what? The second thing I noticed is that when the Democrat Party operative asked that question about Trump's quote, she framed it as Trump said some Mexicans are criminals. The question I have is in 2015, shortly after the president said that some Mexican immigrants were rapists and criminals, some Mexican immigrants were rapists and criminals. That's not what CNN and the rest of the media have been saying for the last four years. I mean, as we all know, the coverage has always claimed that he said that about all Mexicans. Obviously, there's nothing controversial about saying some of the people crossing the border from Mexico are bad guys, which is why the media has to purposely misrepresent what he said, just like they have on several other occasions that persist to this day. Anyway, that was a pretty good smackdown by the new press secretary. She should have had some of those headlines ready to go. They're not hard to find, but uh, maybe next time she'll be ready.